Hello everybody. This video is created by Websoft Creation. In this video I am going to describe you that how I can create data table and how I can use that data table with the with any data control. Like uh, if you have a database table and if you wind uh, wind that table with a server control you can wind it easily. What if you require that uh, you have to create the data table dynamically then what to do? So .NET provide a better solution for this that is a data table. Data table is nothing that is a collection of data columns and data rows. So we have some classes or you, you can say have some namespaces that provides interface to implement the data columns and data rows. So we have uh, data columns is the fundamental building blocks for creating the schema of a data table. You build the schema by adding one or more data columns, objects to the data column of collection, right? So let's see that how we can create the data table in our form. So in this example, I will create a data table and uh, I will bind that data table with the data control. Let's see how we can do this. I am gonna taking a button control. After click on this button control, a data table will create and it will bind with the grid view control. Okay. Okay. So I can change the format of grid view control by using the auto format. We have some options like I am taking the professional it will change the look of grid view control. So on click of button control I am going to write a function that is make data table right so this is the declaration of function Now I have to create the definition of that function. So I am taking access modifier private, then void it is a return type, and another thing is function name. Make data table, right? To create a data table, we have to import some namespaces. These are using system.data. It is more than sufficient, so there is no need to take the SQL client. But if you want to imp implement that, you can pass it as namespace, right? As we know that these namespaces provide some classes to implement our source code. So data table, now we can create the data table object that is DT. And I will give this table name that is my table this is the table name now what to do I am writing some commands to implement create data table named my table okay now I have to create a data column create a data column and set data type of column you can set data type also of a column that uh, what kind of values it can store in its in its field okay so we have classes that is data column i give i will create an object of data column then new as we know this is a completely object oriented language data column this is the constructor now why column is created I can set the data type of the column by using 
data type so we have some classes to implement data type get type so you have to put the type name with a string you can see a string type name so system dot decimal it should be enclosed in a string now if you want to set that this value can't be blank or you can say null so you can do it also oh, it's a problem with windows 7 column dot allow div null equals to false it means this field can't be null you can set the column caption by using column dot caption and this caption I am putting here price as we know this is a price this is a decimal value so price should be stored in a decimal field right this is a caption this is not a column name so I column dot column name column name right so column name is price is caption should be different it's not necessary you can take it same if you want to set the column default value you can do it also by using column dot default value but it's not necessary so now I have created my column then I have to pass that column in a data table so we have created already created data table object that is dt columns dot add we have a method to add column so you have add that column so still we have seen that we have created a column named prices and I pass that column in a table so if you want to create more than one column you can do it very easily so our column is created now I have to insert some rows for data as a data so how we can do this okay. to create a data or row we have a class that is data row Now I'm gonna create a new row by using table dot new row. Sorry, my table object is dt and I have a function of new row. This function will create a row, right? So to create some rows, I create a loop that is a for loop and I will put row value we have price prices this is the column name so I have to write the prices here P is capital equal to I plus 1 now our rows are created now I will pass that row in my table rows dot add 
this rows dot add I will pass my row object right so still we have seen that we have created a, a row a column that is prices and I will pass the value of this column by using the for loop so we have a grid view control also so we can pass that grid view data source equals to dt this is a data table and to show that data we have to use data bind method this is a data bind method right so let's see the output this video is created by websoft creation Websoft Creation is a software development company based in Jaipur. We provide better solution of various projects. Recently we have introduced a new software that is a school MIS. You can visit our website websoftcreation.co.in. <laughs> this is a different part of our this video. <laughs> so if I click on this button I will see the output so dynamically we have created dynamically a data table and I will pass I pass some data in that data table okay so you can visit our website if you want to regular updates of our videos and you can submit your data over there okay thank you for watching this video goodbye